What's up, comic book fiends? It's YD5, the comic book addict. Got a new haul for you this week. This is a relatively uh, cheap haul, too. I'm saving up for next week. There's an actual comic book show nearby, um, about an hour away. So, didn't really pick up too many books this week. It's relatively uh, light haul, as I call it. So, I'm just going to get on with it, show you these books. Got some good ones, though, don't get me wrong. Just no major keys. Um, starting off with this one here. This is Action Comics number 766. I just got this as a cool cover. It's got Batman and Superman on the cover. It's a search for Lois Lane storyline. I mean, that's a cool cover. Anytime you can get Batman and Superman on the cover of Action Comics, I mean, go ahead and pick it up. Especially, I only paid $2 for it. Nice, freaking near mint condition book. So, cool book to get. So, I saw that and said, you know, heck yeah, gotta get it. Next book here, this is Iron Man number 86. I thought this was the first appearance of Blizzard, but it's not. I mean, I think it's in Tales of, Tales of Spence or Astonish. I don't know. But he has a, a, really a, a way earlier appearance. But anyway, whatever. I mean, I paid $4 for it. High grade copy of an Iron Man book. Um, bronze. Uh, in the bronze ish uh, era, so. You know, why not pick it up? No no loss to me, you know what I'm saying? But still an early appearance of Blizzard. Cool cover. Ah, let's see here. Next book I picked up, I got X-Force number 37. This is, has just a, um, I guess, a storyline surrounding Apocalypse and one of the early appearances of his celestial ship. Um, I didn't flip through the book, but, you know, I, I look up all the key, you know, key issues you should be collecting when it comes to Apocalypse. I read all those forms and stuff, and they mention this book, X-Force number 37. So, you know, $1.50, I was, you know, going through the X-Force X -Force, uh, section I found. I was like, all right, you might as well get it. It ain't going to hurt. $1.50, so, you know, it's not going to be any crazy expensive book ever, but, you know, it's a cool book to have, I guess. So, pick that up. <clears throat> This next book here, be on the lookout for this book, okay? This book should be rising in value, especially with the announcement and all that that I read. Boom, this is the new Teen Titans, issue number 16. This is the first appearance of Captain Carrot. Um, there's like a little preview for Captain Carrot right there. See that right there? First appearance of Captain Carrot. Uh, I love these new Teen Titans. Uh, this series, man, has so many first appearances. I mean, I... George Perez artwork. I mean, George Perez artwork is just amazing in itself. I mean, but all these Teen Titan books. I mean, you got Deathstroke's first appearance. You got first appearances of some of these, a lot of these new Teen Titan uh, superheroes and other villains. I mean, it's just list goes on and on. So uh, hopefully, I just complete this ser this uh, series one day. But uh, anyway, just be on the lookout for this book. I guess uh, Captain Carrot. Uh, uh, DC is supposed to. Bring him to the new 52. So, this is his first appearance in this book. So, be on the lookout for it. I mean, I paid four dollars for it. Super high grade condition, too. So, just be on the lookout for that book. Next book I picked up, picked up a couple of new 52 books. Um, this is Firestorm number 19, first appearance of the new Killer Frost. Picked this up for a few bucks. I guess Killer Frost is going to be in either the Arrow or Flash uh, TV show. So, and I believe they're going to use uh, her new 52 uh, character. So be on the lookout for that book. I paid a couple, you know, $3 for it. So I figured I'd pick it up. I also picked up this book, Justice League Dark Number 9. I mean, this is the first appearance of the new members, the new team, I guess, with Justice League Dark. So also paid only $3 for this, both in super high grade condition. So yeah, be on the lookout. New 52 books are so, you know, there's so many good keys to be getting just go through the back issues of any title really and there's something to get so yeah so pick those two up be on the lookout for those two books this next book be on the lookout for this one um with the death of archie comic books that came out it kind of started this freaking downward spiral for me of freaking trying to find archie comic books i've never <laughs> i've never had any desire to collect these books whatsoever but I got those, and I got the Kevin Keller the freaking Batman uh, cover swipe variant that I showed last week, and now I picked this up. And this book, I looked online, they want like 40 or $50 for this on eBay for this book. And you can get this, you can find this in any comic book store in, in the back issues, and they're like $2 or $3. Be on the lookout for this book. Boom. 
This is Archie Comics, Veronica, issue number 202. First appearance of this guy, Kevin Keller. So, first appearance of Kevin Keller. Um, so, yeah. Um, I don't know. Just you can find it for a couple dollars. Even if you don't collect Archie Comics like me, I don't collect it. But, I mean, they want... I mean, they're going for like $40. They're asking for $50 online. I don't know what they're getting, but... Anyway, it's rising in value. I paid $3 for this book. Also be on the lookout for the same book, but it, the second print is even rarer, and it's all black in the background. So, anyway, first appearance of Kevin Keller. You know, you know, they can get it really cheap, so I figured I'd pick it up since they want a lot of money for it. You know, so, got it. Next book, I've been looking for this one for quite a long, long time. Got a good price on it. This is Five Ghosts, The Haunting of Fabian Gray, issue number one. Guess you're making a TV show. I've been looking for this book for a while. Been never, never willing to pay the online prices. They want like at least 15 at the lowest, is what I saw. But you know, near mint copy I got, and I got it for what does it say, seven dollars and fifty cents at the record store. So I was like, heck yeah, why not? And it says very fine plus, but I don't even know what what, what the issues were of it are because there isn't any. But uh, yeah, so so happy to get that book. Cool cover. Got the five ghosts there on the bottom. You know, for seven bucks. So happy to get it. Great deal. So I got five ghosts number one. Let's see here. I only got two more books to show you. I told you it was a relatively light haul. You know, um, I went to one comic book shop. I got some time to talk because usually I'm a 10 minute video guy, you know. But I was going to pick up some books, but every book I, I went through all, I, don't you hate this? You go through the, their long boxes, nothing's priced, and they're not, they're not things bagged and boarded. And you bring him to the counter, and the guy sits sitting by the computer, and all he does is look it up on freaking online, eBay, or whatever, and then starts writing down what he wants for the books. Like, uh, it annoys me so much. I was like, you know what? I got. I told the guy, you know what? If you're giving me the prices online, just don't even bother, man. I don't want. I'm not gonna pay that much. I figured you sell them for a few bucks each. I mean, they were good books I found, but I mean, I hate that, man. I get aggravated. I don't know how, how about I don't know about you guys, but and he even looked up uh, books that even had a price on it. Like you know, to me that's wrong. If there's a price on the book, that's your fault. You need to change it before someone brings it up to the counter. I mean, come on. But anyway, that's just how I feel. I'm sure you guys feel the same way. Uh, this next book, though, so happy to finally get this book. I've been looking for this for a while. Um, never found out the right price, but I finally found a, a super high grade copy for 15 bucks, and I pick, I just picked it up. Boom! Batman Superman Annual Number Four, first appearance of Batman Beyond in, in continuity. So you know, couldn't never couldn't sneak attack this book ever really. Couldn't I just just barely missed out I think because I passed it up once and it was like five bucks on in the back issue bin. I passed it up a year over a year ago, but. Anyway, finally got it. So happy to have it. You know, super high grade condition. So, I mean, this book is gaining in value now. So, definitely happy to get it. If any of you guys don't have it, I suggest pick it up now. It's going up even more. So, for 15 bucks, happy to finally have it. Anyway, my last book I want to show you. This is my new thing I started. The If there is one book you had to pick up this week, just one book. This is the book you should have picked up. New book, new comic book releases I'm talking about. There is only one book you, you could pick up. This right here is the book you should have picked up. In my opinion now, okay, this is my opinion, guys. I know there's probably some, some of you out there like, you know, they're thinking I'm crazy, you know. But this is the book I feel you should have got. Boom! The Fade Out, issue number one, Image Comics. Uh, this is the magazine variant. So... Really happy to have it, and I got it. Got them to put in. A, came back to board it in the magazine bag and board. I don't have any of those, so I have to always get them if I pick one up. But anyway, so happy to finally get this book. Finally get it. What am I talking about? It just came out. <laughs> but uh, happy to get this book, man. You know, uh, you know, we'll see how the series goes. You know, I read a lot of good things, so I guess we'll see, you know we'll wait and see. But anyway, this hard to find book, man. I mean, I went to three different comic book shops. None of them had it. Except for the record store. The record store, in my opinion, in New Jersey. If you want a new comic book, a variant of some sort, uh, go to this store because they had four four of these left. And this was on Thursday. So, I mean, not even on Wednesday. This was on Thursday. So, um, they tend to be able to, 
they order a good amount, I guess. So, anyway, be on the lookout for this book. But, anyway, hope everyone's doing well in the community. Thanks for watching the vid. Like I said, was a relatively light haul, but you know what? Hey, it happens, right? Um, but anyway, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.